How's it flying, guys? Lance Corporal Lock 30 here, and welcome back to another Tari reaction. I just finished recording a reaction to Taria's Diva song. So, I feel like I'm kind of on a roll today when it comes to listening to music. So, I'm going to record a few more music based reactions today, and they will, the next couple reactions, which includes this one, will be uh, specifically songs that I was requested to react to. So, after Taria's done here. After I watch the Tarya, this Tarya song from Act One, which is Crimson Deep, live at Teatro El Circulo in Rosario, Argentina, I will be reacting to The Divine Wings of Tragedy by Symphony X. That's a 20 minute one, so yeah, that'll probably be the last one I record today. It's safe to say. I, I might do one more after it. Just so I can kind of knock a bunch of these out of the way. Because I gotta catch up. But, anyways though, we're gonna focus on one step at a time. One step at a time. So, I guess without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Link to the original video will be in the description. Please go watch it before you watch my reaction to it. Make sure you're familiarized with this song. Or in with this live version as well and i guess let's just go after i forget that i put it on mute so that in case it did auto start when i cl uh, clicked into the big screen it wouldn't start and i wouldn't be spoiled for anything music wise so let's go now let's go now the last one for tonight ah so this is the concert closer Gotta love when a good bass starts things off. Wait, are there two bass players in this? Turn that up just a tad. Hold on a second, hold up a second. Is my, no, my regular volume's at fun. Okay, I just had to check something real quick, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's two bass players for sure.
like that little bit where she just pulls the mic away as she holds the note. Okay, so for those who may not know, I'm sorry to pause it right in the middle of this, but I gotta get a thought out. So, usually, though I'm not accepting new requests at this moment, Usually when I when I first started to record reactions to like Nightwish for example, people immediately jumped because the first so song I reacted to by Nightwish, not the first one I heard, but the first one I reacted to was Bye Bye Beautiful, the music video. And everyone just immediately pounced saying you got to do live shows, just do the live shows, just do the live shows because everyone was saying they sound much better live. Well, they and while I appreciate a lot of the live shows that I have reacted to, there is also one reason why I'm always reluctant to, so that maybe people can kind of understand where I'm coming from here. Live shows may have great production, great performances, and like, and I'm not discrediting the performance here, but there are moments where it, it I can't quite understand what Tarya's saying. It feels like she's Like, you have to be able to hear every single instrumentation, and I know that's going to be hard in a live setting, but that's one of the reasons why I like to listen to the studio version first, because most of the time the studio version is going to be a lot clearer in the sound. Not always, not always, but a lot of times it helps you to hear the lyrics a lot better so you can understand what the singer's saying. I can barely understand what t anything Tarya's say singing through through the music. So it's not the music is not bad, but I just not feel I'm just not feeling this particular performance, not on the performance level, but the recording and the sound level. So next time I hear this song, I will definitely be listening to the studio version probably only so that I can have a better understanding of everything that's being said and have an appreciation for all the different instruments being played because I don't know if it's just this particular video I'm watching because I have re I have reacted to another performance from Act 1. I forgot which song it was, but I know for sure I've done at least one other from this performance and I remembered enjoying it. But this, like I said, it could just be this particular video. It's not coming through clearly for me. So, and I don't, turning up the volume is not going to help that either. It's one of those things. But anyways, let's continue. We still got three minutes left of this sucker.
Okay. All right. Okay, so I will retain what I was saying. I don't know if this if it's the production of their I'm, the performance itself was good. The instrumentation was good, and I could tell that Taria was putting her all into her singing, which is also good. But there's I don't know if it's this the video I'm watching, or it shouldn't be the video I'm watching, because it's the I guess the official. Uh, it's ear music, which has had the past quite a few Taria songs that I've listened to on on the channel. So, I don't know why it would be this video, but it's something about this rec recording, the production. It's something about this one. I'm not, I don't feel like I can appreciate it as much as some of the other Taria songs that I've listened to. I don't know if it's the acoustics in the place they're performing that's throwing things off for me personally. But, I don't know, there's something about this one. The song, I, f I, don't f I feel like I would have a better appreciation for the studio version of the song. That's my takeaway from it. It's not, I can't say that it's a bad song. I'm not going to say that. And no, I'm not thinking it either. So before anyone says, well, what do you mean you're not going to say it's about something? Okay, I'm going to stop putting words in your mouth. So, but yeah. I'm going to have to listen to the studio recording to probably get a better appreciation for this particular song. I could tell it was one of those atmospheric songs the, with a lot of instrumentation. And I wasn't expecting a second bass player. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to listen to the studio version of this and I'll probably have a better a better grasp of what it's supposed to be in that version. Because with this particular one I just reacted to, I don't know. It just something didn't feel right. But, yeah, I'm going to go. So, probably not the best reaction to Atari song, to any song. But, you know, it is it is what it is. And I'll try to, I'll try to, yeah, I don't know what else to say right now. So, all right, guys. Anyways. Yeah, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, if you enjoyed, comment what your thoughts on this song are. Subscribe if you're new and tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video so you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise from me. And also go check out my Discord. All right. Sorry, I just had to do a stretch. Check out my Discord. Link is also down in the description. And also go check out my Patreon if you guys feel like showing some extra support. And if you enjoyed this song, you know, great for you. If you like this performance, also great for you, you know. So, go ahead. This is Bill Clock 30, signing off.